potato hash again and it's just because it's really good <laughs> I, don't think anyone's wondering I, have no, I have no other answer other than um we obviously if you didn't see last episode you'll see that someone stole our battery and replaced it with another one and mired it wrong and her fridge isn't working and nothing's really working so we we're not really have, thriving yeah barely have any power either mm. it's just the shambles really yeah so we're we decided to get off the Tasman. We weren't, really, we weren't really feeling like hanging around there much longer, so we decided to shoot inland. We sort of want a bit of solitude, a bit of time. Like, because mm -hmm. on the road, often, like, if you're coastal, you often hang out around beach car parks and stuff. And as stupid as this sound, it does feel like you're sort of always on display and people wanting to come up. And as much as we love meeting you guys, as you say hi and stuff, it's just often a lot of people just randomly come up and, like, take photos without chatting to you. And I don't know, the whole thing's real weird. And you just, feel on display a fair bit when sometimes particularly when you're going through a hard time like the battery situation um you sort of just want to be out in nature and completely removed so mm. we've driven inland and then we're going to go and try and suss a couple of lake spots that we haven't been to yet further south as we head west as well so yeah not a whole lot planned we can't really have any food that's refrigerated and we can't really charge anything so I don't know. I don't know how much we'll be able to film depending on how long batteries last and all that, but uh, we're just going to try and stay positive and just enjoy how beautiful Tasmania is. Like, obviously, we still have a nice home on wheels. Nigel's running really well, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just a pretty big inconvenience for some random person to decide to do that. So we're going to enjoy these, probably have another coffee, and then head to the next lake spot, hopefully. It is the weekend, so it might be busy, but... Yeah, hopefully we'll find a spot. Who knows? We'll just see where the day takes us. Yeah. And just like that, it's actually gotten really cold and cloudy. <laughs> Classic Tassie, but that means we're in for a really nice night. We're gonna light a little fire, a yummy warm dinner. And, and some ramen. Ramen. And just forget about all our worries. Yeah. Who could not in a view like this? Still a little bit windy outside, so we can enjoy this lovely meal in our cozy little home. Mm. You've done it again, Glenn <laughs> Ferguson. Talking bullshit. It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull.
Well, we woke up to cloud cover and the time it's taken us to make a coffee and all that, it's turned it on again. Tasmania. Unbelievable. It's now it's warm as toast. Might even go for a little dip, that water's calling our name. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful and sunny, but my God, that water is so cold. God, I felt good. Ah, oh. and Leo was, of course, oh, man. so happy <laughs> that we got in the water with him. Weren't you, bud? Yeah. It. But now, as I'm sure you can imagine, it's time for a second coffee. So I think about having some food as well. <sighs> Thankfully, in this whole debacle, we have such a ginormous and good solar panel because essentially the battery is useless, but we have, we're getting like just enough power to, it's basically going straight from the solar panel to the inverter. <laughs> the battery itself doesn't hold any charge at all. So the only time we can actually charge things is when we're just getting bulk solar, but thankfully, because that solar panel is so big, we're actually still able to charge like phones and laptops. The only difference is we've got to have the sun absolutely blaring for us to be able to keep it on charge. So hopefully that sun hangs around today because we need to stock up on a fair bit of power. Yes, we're having potato hash again. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. It's just so good, particularly now how cold they are after that swim. Oh, this will warm us up beautifully. <laughs> Such an insanely beautiful drive. I didn't expect it to be that beautiful. I just had no expectations, but it's like one of the prettiest drives we've done, I think. Yeah, like I knew getting closer to Queenstown it would, but like from early on it turned, was just turning so lush and grand. Man, this place has blown <laughs> us away. But we've got a quick little detour, just a short little hike to Nelson Falls. So we're just gonna have a little meander. 20 minutes return apparently. Stretch the old leggies. Unfortunately, Leo cannot come. Let's gather it. Trees will bloom and eggs will melt We'll always remember how it Love. 